hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to my channel this is Blanca uh, this is my garden these are my orchids and we're gonna take a walk uh, today's video I want to let you guys know that it has been non-stop raining here in South Florida I am going to treat my orchids today with three different products and I want to show you guys what I'm gonna be using uh, it's time to treat for fungicide you guys it is non-stop the rain is just it's just horrible I mean it rains every single day I am terrified that my orchids are gonna get a fungal infection so I'm gonna spray today with some thiomil which is a fungicide I am also gonna add to the mix um, some orthine because I just I did notice that there was some thrips and I'm also gonna use um, captain fungicide which is also a fungicide and a disease control for plants um, all of these are purchased at um, that OFE which is an orchid supply store and they did recommend that I use the three of them together. I have not done this concoction in a while. Uh, so today's gonna be the first time that I'm gonna mix the three. They're very strong. So it's not, it, I don't like to do this very often, but um, when I feel like my orchids need it, I'm gonna have to treat them. Uh, because the worst thing is, you know, them just getting the nonstop rain and developing a fungal infection and then it getting out of control. So before I walk you through um, back there in my orchid section and give you an update of how my orchids are doing, I just want to show you really quick what I'm going to be using. Um, all of these products are super strong, so it is recommended that you wear um, that you wear gloves, that you wear like a mask. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm probably going to do it later on this afternoon. Uh, but I did want to show you guys uh, what I'm going to be using. So it's going to be the Orthene, and I am going to mix half a teaspoon per gallon of water of each. Um, it does it does say one whole teaspoon, but with half a teaspoon, it does the job. Um, so we're going to do the half a teaspoon per gallon of the Captain Fungicide. And this is that um, fungicide and disease control product. You guys, this is some strong stuff. Um, I, I do like to be a little bit organic, but not when it comes to, to this. Because this really, I apply it once and it takes care of the issue. Um, this is a thiomil, um, which is a fungicide. You want to get make sure that you don't get any of this stuff like inside your pool or like around your pets because like I said it's super super strong um, so I'm gonna do use half a teaspoon uh, per gallon of water of of this one which is a thiomil and then the orthene um, is the one for the thrips so these two are fungicides so these two right here are the fungicides and this is for the thrips uh, which are those horrible little creatures that love to eat the um, the spikes throughout the buds and this works amazing I have to say with one spray and it like fixes my problem but usually I like to use it three weeks at a time so today we're gonna go with the orthene and the fungicides half a teaspoon per gallon of water and we're gonna see how it goes all right so uh, in the garden you guys I need to get this which I was gonna do it last video um, I need to get this huge cane, uh, my dendrobium cane, kind of tied down with a zip tie because I have a feeling it's going to go timber <laughs> once if it gets even bigger than this. It's, I think it's huge. Um, it's gotten huge. Look at that. It measures almost three feet in height. Uh, my beautiful sherry babies are all around my garden just blooming nonstop, blooming like crazy. And these are the ones that I fear about. Um, I fear about the, the fungus, just too much water. I just think it's like an excess amount of water. It's been raining for probably a week nonstop. And when that happens, it's always a good idea to just um, kind of use the, that fungicide. And that's my dendrobium blue twinkle right over here. It is doing nice. Look at that. Now the ones on my, on my, on my trees, I'm not going to spray. Um, I will do the ones that are in the pots and that are under my under my gazebo. Just because, you know, just a little bit of wind and all of that fungicide and all that stuff is going to get on me. So the ones on the trees, I think will do okay because they do get dried up fast. It's the ones under my grill gazebo and the ones that I have potted that I'm most, most worried about. This is my Dendrobium Splash like the Enobi splash or something like that and look at that look at all the buds on those that's a brand new spike right there I didn't have that spike last week how pretty 
All right, let's go under here. And everything is so wet. Yeah, and we're expected expecting rain all all day. All right, so this eye candy pinky um, is from Carmela, and it is beautiful and it is fragrant. I think I think it's a it's a Bolera. Um, I was going back and watching some of my old unboxing videos because I'm starting to get a little bit of that um, unboxing itch. So I did already uh, give a call to. I did give um, give a call to. Um, to Sheldon because I want to get another box so coming soon hopefully in the next few weeks I'm probably gonna do another unboxing uh, this is my dendrobium twinkle which finally decided to um, to bloom Oncidium to sequel marguerite number one and I know I didn't say that right <laughs> they're little they're itty bitty flowers that are white a little bit of like uh, pink and yellow mm. And they do smell, they do smell, they do smell a little bit. All right, so let's go over here. So yeah, so I did give Sheldon a call. I did not get to speak to him, but I am gonna be calling him very, very soon because, you know, as selective as I wanna be with my orchids, I miss getting them. Um, and I wanna get a box, and those boxes are so much fun. They're, um, so I, I really wanna get something a little bit different, um, maybe a little bit, um, of more of the dendrobiums that I can put on my palms maybe some more on us moms because they are doing really really nice so um look at this section you guys it is just completely drenched <laughs> it is completely drenched my cattleyas are completely drenched so I definitely definitely have to get in here with that fungicide because I'm starting to see I mean it's not I mean I'm not starting to see such a big issue but I know that in a few days if um, the rain continues, I will start to see some fungus. All right, so these are all my dendrobium announcements out there. They look amazing. Uh, now's when they're green. Uh, they start losing their leaves, uh, getting close to like March, February, March, and then I'll get flowers hopefully um, in April. Let's see this. This is my Hoya, it's already starting to fade. All right, the Vandas love the water though. But um, I did mention um, to Todd from Todd Tropics that I wanted to, this is my little, this is my little pixie dust from Moats. I did want to add another grill gazebo to, to this area because everything under here, you see the Vandas, they're all kind of all touching and you know, and that I think is also um, an issue with the fungus when they're all so close to each other and they don't get to dry out. Um, so I really want to add another grill gazebo to this area probably very soon because all the water that's coming down, it's probably gonna affect those leaves. All right, now this is my, my Catacetum Frederick Clark after dark and those buds are getting really plump getting ready to bloom still not in bloom yet now i'm walking very carefully around here because everything is wet and i don't want to be i don't want to be um surprised by any bugs yeah so you see a little bit of discoloration on some leaves so I think the fungicide will do good. Nothing in spike that I'm surprised to see around here. I'll still this one in bloom. Hmm. So vendors are quiet this week. And my driftwood, which I relocated out here, uh, which is obviously getting plenty of rain now. Um, you know, it's starting to look a little bit better starting to look a little bit better. Um, I do have some blooms, so I do have this, my mini fowl, this is the, the fowl Albanese, Albanese, Texas. And it's in bloom. I got this one with Cruel Smith. And I have to tell you, it's nonstop blooming for her. She's got um, some new buds 
and so it's a really pretty color she's very spicy in fragrance her scent is yeah it is it's it's good it's a little spicy but it smells really good so i do have a few a few more um little buds on her and finally i'm starting to see some green roots on this <laughs> on this driftwood this is what it needed it needed to be out here um i've got another bud here i believe this is my um my balina right here that's in bud so all these are just the mini fowls and this is my my driftwood hopefully um something will start happening with my my sedaria japonica over here not even sure if it's time for it to bloom but the roots look good and they do definitely look healthier so this is what they needed all right so no surprise spikes on any of my vandas which is surprising because i normally do get many spikes from all of these guys so definitely i think a nice little treatment would help them uh, i do have uh let's see some new spikes on this one right up there this is my dendrobia memtum chai i mean my vanda memtum chai and there's a, a new flower spike right there and then this one so this vanda pochang um this is her tag right here I decided that I was gonna bring her out to get a little bit more sunlight, which is also what I'm dealing with on this in this section. And I'm sorry that this video is a little bit chatty, but um, I kind of want to let you guys know, um, I'm a little bit concerned that the Vandas under here, just because of everything that's going on up there, they're getting way too much shade. And I feel that is affecting um, the amount, even though I'm still getting a large amount of spikes all the time. Like I, I do, I promise you, every time I come in here, I see a different Vanda and spike. Even though they are blooming like they would normally when I had them under my, under my terrace that they were getting a little bit more sun, I feel like um, this, all this shade is starting to affect them a little bit. Um, because for some reason, I think that this has gotten bigger. I mean, I don't remember this being so bushy um, even when I first put them in. So I'm going to probably have to get another grill gazebo and put it more on this side where it's going to get a little bit more sun and maybe relocate some of those vandas out of there and see if that, if it goes better. Um, like I said, I'm still getting spikes. I, I just feel like they're getting too much shade and maybe they will even be giving me more flowers if they were getting a little bit more sun. So that's my thought on that. Uh, so hopefully I can get um, a new grill gazebo like in the next two or three weeks and then get those vandas a little bit more um, more into the sun so uh, that's today's update you guys um, let's see not a lot of flowers I do have a lot of growths I do have um, two little trees here that Todd gave me that are starting to grow um, pretty tall and Todd you're gonna kill me but I forgot their names um, and and that's it the garden is pretty much uh, just pretty quiet um, you know like I said I'm gonna start treating for for the fungus for the or um, for the um, for the thrips and and that's it hopefully um my orchids will like that <laughs> other than that this is today's garden um garden walk i'm gonna start um just getting ready for uh you know to that later on this afternoon if you want to see other let's see how my other blooms are doing i did bring i did bring my sherry baby out here so she can get some rain because under the terrace they get um they get water not as often still my beautiful bandas from Bangjong are in bloom and still smelling amazing and what we'll just one more look over here at my my banana orchid and she's still in bloom and from here still smells like banana candy now if you missed my other video where i i showed her blooms to you and her tag uh, this is her tag right here. It's a Sinochi Warsawitzkii SVO Jumbo Super with a Sinochi Warsawitzkii OMG. And these are the amazing blooms on this Sinochi. And she smells delicious. I've got three of them. And they're awesome. So 
All right, guys, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, have a wonderful week ahead. It is Sunday um, here. I'm sure it's Sunday over there too, uh, but it's Sunday and hope you guys uh, have a wonderful one. Again, you guys are the best. I can't believe it's 20,000 of you guys that are subscribed to my channel and I am so grateful, so thankful. Um, hopefully in the near future, I can do some type of giveaway. Um, so that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.